Hey guys, I want to welcome you to uh, another Coda Combatives uh, workout. Um, this one specifically geared towards uh, the uh, Buakalento Wak uh, Escrima system that we do. Um, sometimes uh, people ask me what kind of stick they should be using. Uh, I typically prefer, um, the, of course, the uh, rattan stick. Rattan is a very flexible, very lightweight uh, stick. You know, some people will use, uh, uh, you know, like a broomstick and they cut it. But uh, I, t I typically prefer the rattan stick. If you get hit by a rattan stick, um, it's not as bad as uh, uh, like a big, uh, thick kamagong stick that they use in the Philippines, like those ironwoods. But anyway, so when you pick um, a rattan stick out, make sure um, um, that it's balanced nicely. Uh, you can, what I, what I typically do is I'll take a stick and I'll hold it at the at the both ends to see if uh, sometimes these knuckles are, are usually in a, a, a bad place and I can't uh, um, <laughs> sorry uh, they typically are in a bad place and I cannot uh, it's sometimes just hard to work with and sometimes the other side typically feels a little bit better grip and I'll put a little grip here uh, it's good for beginners uh, one it, it helps them with their grip um, you know, typically in, in our balint walk system, we like to hold the stick, uh, not too much uh, punio, uh, but just just about an inch to inch and a half. Okay, I, uh, I usually put about two fingers, uh, two fingers at the, at the end here. Um, another another thing too is is just get your 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 hand on the stick and, and kind of move it around. If you have too much of a heavy stick, and especially with balint walk. We typically, uh, we change directions so quick that if you have a heavy stick, it can put a lot of strain and people who have um, uh, tendonitis or uh, lateral epicondylitis, there's, uh, there's or tennis elbow, there's some people that have that and it's really, uh, really, really hard on the, on the tendons and it just makes training a little bit, uh, uh, it kind of can hinder their progress. Some people say, well, you know, I need a heavy, heavy uh, rattan stick or a heavy stick to, so I can generate a lot of power. And actually, you, uh, that's true, but the, the lightweight rattan stick, you can um, practice long periods of time without uh, fatigue and, and putting a lot of strain there. Uh, enough said, uh, always start off with a proper warm up. Uh, we typically do uh, rotations here first, uh, rotating the joints uh, helps uh, put some of those uh, uh, synovial fluids in to the joints and um, you can do it on the other side if it's a very short workout uh, I typically will do that one side uh, rotating rotating the, uh, the uh, wrist you also want to rotate the elbow and of course your whole body but I just do uh, something quick uh, another one that I do is just uh, going side to side to waist You can also extend up high. Okay, and uh, rotating the knees. Rotate the other side, up and down. Rotate the ankles. Other ankle. Okay, so that's a very quick, not even a workout, but it's just to get the joints moving. Um, you can actually do some power strikes uh, to to also do your warm up. I'll show you a couple examples. Uh, we start off in a basic or basic stance. Uh, some people refer to this as the Balento walk stance. Um, it's basically derived from boxing. It's uh, our right, our left foot is, is pretty much uh, jacked up. Uh, they call this a bajong stance in JKD. And our, our right foot is forward. Sometimes we'll have more of, a, this is more of the balinto walk, very traditional posture. Stick is vertical, uh, arm is, is horizontal. Some guys will have their stick up high, like this. And this is more 
the Tabata system uh, uses this. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, what, what we do caution you is if you start out here and you're blocking, you shouldn't have to retract the stick back. If you're going to start with the, the stick in the back of your neck, start it there. So if you're going to block from here, bam, and, put, and, and you're, you're basically blocking and strike right away. There is no block, pull back, and, and move. Or if you're blocking, you don't, you don't retract back like this. So when we, 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 let's say we block a two, we're blocking the two here, or with the hand, the reinforced hand, and we bring it straight up. So just remember, if you're gonna go here, stay here. If you're gonna go here, stay there as well. So uh, when you do a couple of the basics, uh, we like to do the power strikes. It also helps with uh, warm, warming up. So sometimes what I'll do is count, and I'll go middle, 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 middle. Okay, just make sure that the, your foot is pivoting all the way through, like a golf swing, okay, or, or a, like a tennis racket. If I had a tennis ball and a tennis racket, I'm swinging through, and I'm using body mechanics to push off. Remember, a lot of your energy is gonna come off the hip and off the, off the feet. So when you do middle, 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 okay? When you cross this over, don't, it's not, it's not a here or it's not underneath, it's right over, okay? Because if I, if I swing this stick this way, I'm, I'm ready and cocked to explode out this way, okay? Here, here, okay? Middle, middle. Now if I say up, I'm gonna go up, up the X right here, okay? Okay, X, here, okay? If I go down, I'm gonna go downwards X, here. And what, so you'll see me break this up, position down here, okay? And that's, that's so we're not swinging through, but it, what it does, it acts as a whip and it, it breaks the, uh, the, uh, the circumference. Uh, here, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 okay? If you're practicing and you're hearing some whooshing sound, make sure that the whoosh or swoosh is directly in front of you. If I just take a swing haphazardly, sometimes the, the sound will go more down here. What you wanna do is try to focus and emphasize that the power is right where you want it. Okay? That will help you with your warm up. also will help with body mechanics, generating a lot of power. And some of your basics, you wanna generate power by utilizing our, four, our 12 basic strikes. So a couple of drills that you can do with your students is from this from this uh, from this angle, instead of a one, you can punch towards the target. Okay, this will also um, help you with control because if you use the middle of the stick, especially if you're new and you're using the middle of the stick, the control is uh, you might not have that that full control and your your stick may wobble. So. Um, even like Bobby Tabuata's lineage, they use the fist, and it helps control. The only thing it does, it, it doesn't utilize the capacity of the stick. Uh, if you look at Ox Park from the Moranga lineage, he'll utilize the stick, and he basically uses what um, what Manu, uh, Sam refers to as the uh, hammer hammer effect. Um, ne you necessarily don't take a hammer and you drive nail this way, right? But when you do this, this helps with control, but it's not utilizing the stick me me mechanics. So uh, you have to, to come up with drills to facilitate what you want to achieve. So if I want to achieve control, I will show all my students that their strike is with the fist, okay? Here.
six, seven, eight, okay, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay. 